Today I'm going to show you how to transform a toy lightsaber into a real one using Adobe After Effects. Open the file you want to edit in Adobe After Effects by going to File, Import, File, and finding it on your computer. Drag and drop the selected file into your timeline. Now go to Layer, New, Solid, and add a white solid layer. I'm going to call this layer Saber White. Click off the visibility on the layer. Zoom in to get yourself exactly where you're going to start masking. Click the pen tool and draw the four corners of your lightsaber. Click the M key on your computer to bring down your masking options. Go to your mask path and click the stopwatch. Hit command and the right arrow key to go over one frame. Hover over the masking corner until your cursor becomes white and then click. This gives you the option to move the points with more flexibility. Now move your points to cover the lightsaber in the second frame. Continue in the same manner for the rest of the frames that include your lightsaber. I heard that this part of the transformation really sucks, but I was like, I love editing. How bad could it really be? It took me four hours to do four seconds. So yeah, it sucks. Just keep that in mind when you film. I suggest starting out by filming something short. If you do film something longer, maybe have one of your filmmaker friends take over for a bit in the editing room so you don't go completely crazy. But if you're a control freak like me and you don't like others touching your film in the post-production process, make sure you break the editing up, meaning don't do it all in one sitting. Now that your lightsaber is completely masked frame by frame, click back on the visibility key to see what you've done. Now press the D key to duplicate your Saber White layer four times. If you shift click the bottom Saber White layer, you select all your layers. Double click M to drop down your mask functions. Set the first mask feather to three pixels, the second to 10, the third to 30, the fourth to 60, and the last to 120. This creates your lightsaber glow. Hit M again to drop back down your mask functions. Go back to layer, new, and create this time a black solid. Drag this solid underneath your Saber White solids. Shift click the top Saber White layer to select all. Control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and go to Precompose. Name this lightsaber and click screen in your blending mode. Bring up your effects and preset panels. Type curves drag and drop this effect on your lightsaber layer, and now play with the curves until you find the color you like. I chose blue because the toy lightsaber we use had a blue light on, so that's the color illuminating on Hunter's face in the final frames, so I didn't have much choice. So there you have it, that's how you guys make a lightsaber look real using Adobe After Effects. Be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss our next After Effects tutorials and comment down below what 
you guys want to see us do next.